Hello, so I'm going to begin with a question, uh, which is, what does Lord Byron have to do with knitting machines? Um, and the answer lies in his daughter, Ada Lovelace. Now, Ada Lovelace was a 19th century mathematician, and she worked with a man called Charles Babbage, creating what was the world's first computer, uh, and it worked entirely mechanically. Now, it worked using this, which is a punch card. The punch card was not invented by Babbage or Lovelace. It was invented um, by um, actually a man for use in uh, knitting and weaving machines, a man called Jacquard. Um, but it was uh, noticed by Babbage that we could use these punch cards to store numbers. For example, if I bring this forward, you can see I've got... If I call all the backwards ones zero and all the forwards ones one, I've got zero one zero one 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 zero one zero 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 one 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 zero zero excellent so on and so forth. Okay. Now um if I divide this up into um what they call bytes of eight, uh then I would have one number stored over these four, a second number stored over the oh sorry, these eight, the second number stored over these eight, and the third number stored over these eight. And what I could do is I could maybe use the outer two eight byte bits to store two numbers and the middle one could um, have some form of instruction to do something with his numbers maybe multiply them together or um, raise one to the power of the other one or whatever but if you're going to do that uh, what you need is a program to tell you what to do so all every one of these rows has got a different number set in it and what you'll need to do is you'll need to remember these numbers so what is on this knitting machine is actually a really interesting thing it is um a uh, a mechanical memory device this is in fact 24 bits of ram random access memory now the thing about random access memory is that um it just uses the memory from wherever it starts so if you have a look at these drums uh, there are 24 little levers poking out of it and i can actually raise a lever and i can store a number um using these various bits um, however, it doesn't matter where I start from. I can start anywhere on the circle and it will remember the number. I'll just reset it. So, um, this is what Lovelace invented. She invented a means of storing a number on these drums. So let me get a number. Here's a number. And what it's going to do is it's going to use this top drum here to pick up the number from here. And it's going to store it on this bottom drum here. The top drum is basically just a transfer. So if I run this across... You should see that it's picked up that number. If you have a look on this drum here, you can see that I've now got some that are down and some that are up. Okay, and that pattern will be the three 8 bit numbers that we programmed into it. Now, what will happen on a knitting machine, actually, you, you can't see it very well, is that um, it will use these things to push forwards the needles or not um, on each row. So it will actually use it to program a pattern to the knitting machine. Um, but Babbage used it to store a number on a drum for later use. Um, and then he could then use it to perform calculations. Um, the other thing which this has is quite interesting is a way, means of wiping the RAM, which is to push this lever in here and rotate it. And it just resets all of the buttons and then of course a bit later on in the program i can come back pick up another number in fact what actually happens on this particular machine is that every time the carriage goes past it flicks it up another number so let's store this number on here and this is a bit later on okay and there you go you can see that we've stored another number it's time to wipe it and that is the basis for mechanical RAM. Um, and that eventually then turned into transistorized circuits, which stored uh, ones and zeros, and then into integrated circuit chips, which stored millions of ones and zeros, and then finally into the processor chips and the RAM chips that you see on today's modern computers. But it all started with Ada Lovelace and this very simple device. So that's what Lord Byron has to do with knitting machines. I hope you enjoyed that.